what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel you guys already know what it is it's draft season all year long and today we are going to be closing off our top 10 individual team mock drafts here with the philadelphia eagles if you guys are interested in anything related to the nfl draft or you're an eagles fan and you think i did a good job consider hitting that subscribe button we are on the road to 600 subscribers the philadelphia eagles are in a fantastic spot now picking with two first round picks after a super bowl appearance one of them being in the top 10 obviously and taking a look at this roster there aren't a ton of desperate and dire needs on this team so they have the luxury of going best player available at each and every one of these picks so i'm very excited to see what we can do with this team um you know trade offers are definitely on the table we have four already offered to us so let's see how this beginning of the draft unfolds before us you know i wouldn't rule it out that maybe i'd rule out um but could we see four quarterbacks go before us heck yeah yeah it's it's very possible so you know we'll act like Hendon hooker didn't go and you know we'll say that it was uh will levis instead you know that would be realistic okay so sitting here right and you have four quarterbacks go before us which is highly likely as i mentioned before and a couple of edge rushers damn if tyree wilson is here um whew, that would certainly be a pick right there now you'd have a great rotation heading into the season right you'd have josh sweat You'd have Hassan Reddick, you have Brandon Graham, and then Tyree Wilson. Damn, to go along with Fletcher Cox and Jordan Davis in the middle. There are some really good corners over here as well. But I just feel like you have Darius Slay, you have James Bradbury, you have Avante Maddox, you have Greedy Williams. Is this the time to take a corner? I'm not quite sure. You know, just because you're going to be drafting this guy, where does he sit on the depth chart? Does he even play? I understand he might play a year or two from now, but this is a top 10 pick. This can be a high-impact player year one for you. And you can make the same argument for Tyree Wilson, but I think Tyree Wilson would actually get some significant snaps um, this season. So, okay, not really feeling this one too much. Let's see. Could go there. I mean, you drop down two spots, really. Definitely not. Heck no. Nope. Don't want to drop down for round five selection. Eh, not feeling that one either. These offers are not good. So, what we're going to go ahead and do here is take Tyree Wilson. And you, you saw them do it at the trade deadline last year where they were looking for more edge rushers to put in their rotation. So, I do think that they are looking to get an edge rusher. If Tyree Wilson is sitting there, I think you go ahead and take him there at number 10. No question about it. But, you know, we already saw their desire to get more pass rushers in their group. And I think because they already went out and re-signed guys uh, like James Bradbury and then even went out and signed guys like Greedy Williams, I think your cornerback position is already set in stone. Um, now, okay, that would make things really interesting. However, I don't think Devin Witherspoon makes it to 31. Neither does Joey Porter. So we're going to take both of those guys off the board. However, I do feel like guys like Bijan could potentially be there. Because like this is an interesting thing, right? Bijan is a phenomenal talent, but the way that the NFL is shifting towards not really paying your running backs, do you really want to invest a first-round pick on a guy like this? I think if you're the Eagles and he's sitting here, yeah, I think we definitely consider it. Um, but, again, a lot of teams are going away from having that one workhorse, you know, true running back one, and just splitting carries amongst other, not average guys, but like B- B minus players at the position. I, I, I don't know. Bijan's going to be an interesting one. I don't think he's going to be here either, so we'll skip on that. I'm going to go ahead and take Brian Branch here. I think the safety spot, and although he's not necessarily like a true safety per se, he can definitely play that spot. You know, he has the athleticism for it, in my opinion. He has the IQ for it, definitely understands the game at a whole nother level, and just his reaction speed is just like no one else in this year's class. Um, but you can ask him to take on so many different responsibilities and he excels at every single spot that he plays. So I'd be excited to bring in a guy like Brian Branch here. And the safety group is not necessarily the strongest. So this could be an interesting pick. Again, this team has the ability because they don't desperately need a safety. They have guys who can already play the position, have significant snaps in their career. So I think that that would be one hell of a player to bring on the defensive side, just he can bring so much to the table, allow you to be so versatile on the defensive side of the ball. He's going to be a very valuable player, and I'm not sure where he's going to go either. Um, you know, 
as I mentioned with Bijan Robinson before. So two very talented players that just have big question marks over where they're going to be going um, in their NFL career. But I can guarantee you one thing. I think both of those guys are going to be going in the first round of the NFL draft. Now we're sitting here at pick 63. Now we're here at the late second, early third. I think now would be a proper time to take a cornerback, especially and also this is a very depth, a depthy uh, cornerback group. So there's going to be a lot of talented players down the line in this year's draft where you can take him and say, hey, this guy probably should have been taken much, much sooner, but he's sitting here with us now. And because the pick is less valuable, there's not going to be as much of a rush to get him on the field immediately, you know, unlike if he was that number 10 overall pick or that number 31 pick. You know how fans are. They want to see the first round picks go in day one, week one, suit up for the team and get significant snaps. You know, when we get later here, it's... No, you know, not so much, not so much, if you guys know what I'm saying. So we don't, you know, want to waste an entire pick, or not waste a pick, but waste a year of a first-round pick, you know, on a talented player who's not going to be playing for us year one. So, okay. I talk about that, but I, I really like the corners, uh, not the corners, but the linebackers here. And I think that this is a pretty thin group at linebacker here in the Philadelphia Eagles. Really excited to see what Nakobe Dean does. Was very high on him coming into the draft last year. Um, but aside from that, there's really no linebacker on this team that, you know, is really scary after that. I understand Trenton Simpson is like the athletic guy who can chase down the quarterbacks and stuff. But I'm going to go Drew Sanders here, man. I'd feel very happy to get him here at 63. Drew Sanders is a football player, okay? Now, it says linebacker. He's a football player, okay? This dude is going to lay an absolute hit. He knows where the ball is going before the ball even goes there. He's always around the football. Dude is an absolute dog. He's an animal. I love Drew Sanders out of Arkansas. This is one of those guys that I think we're going to look back on and say, man, he should have been taken a lot sooner. Almost like Nick Bolton. You know, I, I have no proof of it, but I did have Nick Bolton as a first-round talent coming out of his draft, and I just wondered, how did he fall all the way to the late second round? And then look at what he's doing now doing the things that I thought he was going to be doing the whole time. Now, did I have Micah Parsons as not the linebacker one in that group? Yeah, so I might have messed up in that class too. But, you know, there were some positives that we can take out of it. Um, <laughs> we learned from those mistakes, you know. We can balance it out a little bit. Picking here at 95, Jack Campbell would have been another interesting corner – or, sorry, linebacker to bring in. I see cornerback, cornerback, cornerback so often in this draft. It's, I guess, just kind of engraved in my head. Okay. Oh, we could. Oh, wow. Would you guys be mad if I doubled up on safety here? I feel like you guys would. But then do I care? Mmm, that's another thing. Okay, so taking a look at the cornerbacks here. Not super excited about any of these guys, to be quite honest with you guys. Um, Darius Rush I really like. Now, here's another thing, right? You know, talking about the cornerback group that you guys currently have. How long is Darius Slay going to be here for? Not quite sure. You know, so that, I mean, that's another thing that you really have to think about as well. Uh, I think I'm going to bring in a cornerback here. And it's not any of the guys at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Darius Rush from South Carolina. I think this dude is also not being talked about enough, you know, among so many other cornerbacks in this class. Um, but him and Cam Smith, what a dynamic duo at the cornerback spot. South Carolina... You know, they had some luxury players at the cornerback spot. I really like Darius Rush. I think he also does a great job in man coverage. Whoever's coaching him up there at South Carolina is doing one hell of a job because both of these guys don't panic when the ball is in the air. You know, they're always near the player that they're covering, which is their job essentially, but not everyone is that good at it. Um, but, you know, don't sleep on Darius Rush. Just because his boy is going a little bit higher doesn't mean that he's going to be, you know, a slump or anything like that. I think this could be a very, very quality player that you're going to find in the middle of the round. I think could potentially sneak into, you know, second round. Maybe the late first. I think that's a bit of a stretch, though. But look at this group so far. I mean, definitely making an emphasis um, on, you know, shoring up this defense here. And really, I mean, you can point out a lot of things for why they may have lost the Super Bowl. But you give up 38 points. It's not easy to win the Super Bowl, you know, when you give up that many points. So, 
addressing the defense, I think, is going to be important, especially with some of the free agent departures that they also had on this team. But very, very happy with the way that this draft is unfolding so far. Again, and if you guys are enjoying it as well, if you guys think I'm doing a good job, consider hitting that subscribe button. We are almost at 600 subscribers, so it would be greatly appreciated. We're picking here at 221 again. That's quite a while from here. 30 more picks. Essentially another round. What is the plan? I do think that we could definitely take a look at another wide receiver. Quez Watkins, you know, he provides the speed, but not a super reliable third option. And I don't know how much this team is going to be passing the ball, you know, considering how much they run it. Um, but I don't think it hurts to bring in a third receiver, you know, bring in some more depth. I think that's something that could definitely be considered at this point. And, you know, at the very at the very least, could be a special teams contributor. Huh, what do we want to do here? Eagles don't necessarily have, like, a specific build at the wide receiver spot. You know, you have A.J. Brown, who's that physical receiver. You have uh, Devontae Smith, who's kind of like that, I, I mean, slim, obviously. Smaller wide receiver build. So they're not looking for anything in particular. Interesting here. Maybe someone who could potentially like play in the slot. But then Devontae Smith also has that versatility. Uh, we'll, get, we'll go Jalen Cropper here. Yeah, we'll switch it up a little bit. You know, don't go with the same receivers all the time. But Jalen Cropper, wide receiver one at Fresno State. Very reliable hands. So wouldn't mind that one there. Again, probably not expecting a guy taken in the seventh round to start day one for this team. Um, but obviously did get some significant snaps at uh, Fresno State. And although they are a group of five team, uh, they're quite competitive, you know, when they play those uh, power five teams, uh, especially going up against the Pac-12. So you know that those guys got some fight in them. Okay. Last one here. What do we want to do? We'll bring in Moro Jomo, okay? Says he's an edge, is actually an interior defensive lineman, primarily a run stopper when he was at Texas. And we all know that the Eagles had their struggles uh, defending the run last year. So I guess that wouldn't be a horrific pick. But okay, I really like the way that this draft went. Again, this team doesn't have many holes in it, right? So you have the luxury of, if you really wanted to, just go ahead and take the best player available, you know? And when the next wave of free agents departures, you're going to have the guys ready all behind them. So Tyree Wilson, again, adds to that rotation and depth of edge rushers that they really want on this team it's a great strategy to go by and i think it's one that's going to pay off in the long run and right now as well brian branch is going to add some versatility and also some talent to that safety group and also has the ability to play in the box maybe fill in one of those linebacker spots at times in certain schemes uh, also play slot cornerback so you know very very good player that can take on so many different responsibilities at a high level drew sanders dog um darius rush underrated cornerback you're going to have so many of these talented corners fall in the draft because of how much depth there is at the position so don't be surprised to get a quality guy in round three there um and then cropper and ojomo finish it off in round seven here let me know what you guys think in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and until then i'll see you guys all later peace